Hello and welcome to RetroBreathe. In this video, we're going to learn how to play the excellent Wolfenstein ports on the Miu Mini. This video covers all of the Wolfenstein engine games currently available. Wolfenstein 3D, Spear of Destiny, and of course the immaculate Super 3D Noah's Ark, my favourite. I am a big fan of non-violent, family-friendly video games after all. For this guide, you'll need to purchase each of these games on Steam or GOG. My examples use Steam, but the method for the GOG version is exactly the same, you just need to find your game's installation directory. You'll also need to enable the ports collection system from within the Onion Installer app. I have that detailed on many of my other port videos, so just go check that out if you want to learn how. With all that ready, we're good to begin. The first step for this guide is to download the EC Wolf BIOS file which you need to make all of these games work. There's a direct link to the download in the description. Open the archive and extract the file named ecwolf.pk3, not ecwolf.exe. Copy the pk3 file onto your SD card's BIOS folder. Alright, we'll start with Wolfenstein 3D. On your SD card, browse to emu, ports, binaries, wolfenstein3d.port, and open the files underscore here folder. Now, on your PC, browse to the installation directory for Wolfenstein 3D. Open the base folder, then sort the files inside by type. Select all of the .wl6 files in the folder, except for config.wl6. There should be eight files exactly. Then, copy them all onto your SD card into the files here folder. And that's one game down. Reinsert your SD card, refresh your ROMs, go to the port system and run Wolfenstein 3D from there. As you might expect, this game runs really, really well. You use the D-pad to move and turn, the R2 and L2 buttons to strafe, the R1 and L1 buttons to cycle through your weapons, A to shoot, B to open doors, select to open the map, and start to pause the game. You can reconfigure the controls to your liking like any other system. Press function and select to bring up the menu, then go to controls. Open manage remap files, then select save core remap file, which will make your controls consistent for all of the Wolfenstein ports. Go back and then select port 1 controls. I personally like to set strafing to L1 and R1, um, which they are apparently, but for some reason it's backwards here. Now I've actually seen this in a few other systems as well where the L1 and R1 and R2 and L2 buttons are kind of flipped, so we're just going to change it in this menu here. Just set strafe left to L2 and strafe right to R2 and the weapon change buttons to L1 and R1 respectively, and then when you go back to the game you'll be able to strafe with L1 and R1, and change your weapons with L2 and R2. I know it's kind of confusing, I'm not really sure what the overall problem is here, but like I said, I've noticed it in a few systems. But anyway, this feels much, much better, and um, strafing with L1 and R1 as you go around a corner uh, feels really great on the mini. Alright, now we're going on to Wolfenstein 2, Spear of Destiny. Open your SD card, go to Emu, Ports, Binaries, Spear of Destiny.port, and then the Files Here folder. Open your Spear of Destiny installation directory on your PC, then open the base folder. Sort by type and copy all eight of the .sod files, excluding config.sod. This kind of sounds like deja vu, doesn't it? But that's actually it. Spear of Destiny is now good to go. You can launch it from the ports menu after refreshing your ROMs. Also, because we saved the core remap file earlier, the controls should be the same in Wolfenstein 2 as they were in Wolfenstein 1. You might also notice that I'm not taking any damage. You can actually enable this cheat by bringing up the menu, then going to options and toggling on invulnerability, which I find really nice. Okay, now it's time to install Hellraiser the game. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I mean Super 3D Noah's Ark, the game. Or is it Super Noah's Ark 3D? I see some conflicting information online about that, so let me know in the comments what you think. Open the emu, ports, binaries, Super 3D Noah's Ark port folder, then the files underscore here folder once again, and copy in all eight dot n3d files from your game installation directory into this folder. And once again, we're done. Put your SD card back in the mini, refresh your ROMs collection, go into ports, and open the game from there. Oh, I love this game so much. It has such a great story behind its development, um, and just feeding these little goats to death, uh, uh, sorry, I mean until they fall asleep, is just amazing. It just never gets old. So, two plus one excellent Wolfenstein game to enjoy on your Miu Mini. Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions or issues, and also let me know in the comments below which of the Wolfenstein games you enjoy the most. Please leave a like on this video, and subscribe if you enjoy my channel. I have many more upcoming videos, so keep a lookout for those. Thank you very much for watching Retro Bees, and I will see you next time.